Alright, you lot. I know I haven't made a video in like 8 or 10 months or something. <laughs> Listen, I've been working hard. I've been making a game with two other guys. It's like halfway there, and it's been a lot of effort and it looks amazing. I'll show it soon. But people deserve reassembly. Well, you don't deserve anything, but guess what? You can be given it anyway. Let's go play reassembly. But we're not going to play any old normal stuff. We're going to do, go do ye oldie. Laps is going to build a big shippy. Because I have not done a Titan build in a long time. Can I please spell palette? Paletta. Palata. Palate. I'm sorry, I have way too much energy. If you don't like it, you can go to someone else's channel. Uh, <laughs> she was laps. The amount of unnecessary aggression in that statement. I don't know, man. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't get paid to do this. Actually, I've unlocked monetization, so I could monetize stuff, but that's too much effort. Then I have to like do tax. Uh, well, I already have to do tax, but I don't have to. Listen, don't ask me questions like that. You know what we don't... I've never built a Titan of. T uh, Sentinel. I don't build Sentinel stuff normally. I don't... And Crystalline to a degree. But uh, the main reason is just because it's so faffy. It's like, ah... Uh, they don't have a lot. So, it's going to be a multi-tech tier mega structure unit thing. Uh, combining all the greatest powers of the two factions that most utterly hate each other. Which is to say the uh, Sentinels and the Crystalline. Now, fundamentally, these two... I've hated each other due to their long and uh, 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 well-known history of vying over the very center of the galaxy. Now, uh, since they have such strange and interesting weaponry, we shall be attempting to devise a vessel that works both in works well in both geographical contemplations. Um, in the sense that this is, you know, like a whatever squiff rhombus thingy this all is and this one squares so we're gonna have to figure out some strange and interesting solution to make them all fit together and behave however making these blocks behave is like getting two things that don't behave to behave it's it's not the most overtly easy situation in the universe but that's okay if i wanted easy situations i would not have hard situations uh, that worked. Okay, let's move on. Uh, armor plates. I wish there were more scales of them, but that's what we have. Armor plates. Um, b -b 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 we have bees, and we have Terrans. Everyone builds with Terrans. Let's Borg. No. Hmm. Red. Ah, Tempests. Excellent. Nano recon. Oh, we'll lag the universe to Armageddon and back. We will not do a modular cannon because that is far too powerful. Oh, maybe we should... No, 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 no. Although, no, actually, the problem is to be a competitive titan, you do, in fact, need a long-range super-heavy weapon, effectively, in all situations. There's never really a situation where having a titan without a long-range super-heavy weapon is at all viable or useful in any, in, in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, I'm probably going to have to give it a large... Bang gun. And by bang gun, I mean opposed to like a bunk gun, right? Have you ever seen a bunk gun? Bunk guns are funky. They're, they kind of act like... So, okay. Imagine a windstorm. Now, stop imagining a windstorm and start imagining a tornado. But then take that tornado, amplify its windstormedness about five times, and you end up with a windstorm again. Uh, but then we take that windstorm, and I'm talking complete crap. But that's just because I'm... Actually, at a loss of how to build a decent ship. I'm, I'm my deepest apologies. My deepest apologies for my language and for my lack of stellar creativity at a scale of, of this vessel. So, um, melee spikes is a thing. They are a thing. I, I admit that they are a thing. They're not an amazing thing. They're not like, you know, world ending, but they are a thing. That's actually not a bad hull shape for an initial construct, initial concept. So, we're going to have a little skeleton of armor. And we're going to do it like this. I want the ship to be symmetrical, but with a 2x2 two two sym symmetry middle. So we're going to have to do it like this. Huh? Why is it built out of armor? Because it is. It costs actual cost, whereas we could probably use something else. But I haven't played reassembly in so long that I have forgotten how to play. And by that, I mean I've forgotten how to play well, which is a rather crucial thing. Nukes. Cool, we're done. Um, what else do we need? 
<laughs> no, we're not doing nukes. We're not. We're just not. We're not. No, no, no. We're not doing... No, 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 no. We're not doing nukes. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll have one nuke. We'll have one nuke. If you ask... If, if you're going to keep begging with me, we'll have one nuke. Okay. Mm. All right, we're not playing with reds. We can actually, like, make stuff look nice. Oh, look at that. That's neat. That's not terrible. That's actually okay. It could be better, but, you know, fundamentally, I think it achieves its purpose, and its purpose was just not being terrible, so... That's good. That is... This is a structurally forward, flawed design right there, but uh, who cares? Who actually really cares? Now, who has the best shields in the game? It's Tinkerel. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember exactly. It might, might be Terran. No, I'm pretty sure 200. So, my artificial limit for this ship is like 16,000. That's normally how big I, <laughs> pardon me, go for like Titan ships and things like that. Also, I'm sorry that the music stopped. Feel free to put on your own music in the background. Or in fact, go find the reassembly music soundtrack and play it yourself. I'm going to be doing this in absolute silence because I don't want to break my recording by trying to go activate things. Or music or whatever. So, whatever. Annihilators. Annihilate the Spawns. That's the game I'm making. It has a weird name, as people keep pointing out. And yes, it is a weird name. That's only because you're not willing to let it be a normal name. <laughs> you, were, you weren't expecting it. And because you weren't expecting it, you're now annoyed that you couldn't expect it. No, uh, no I'm joking. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. The Jellyfish are a strange... And I wish, I wish they were a complete faction, but they aren't. They just aren't. They've got a, such a nice color palette as well, but Arthur never finished them. And Arthur will never finish them, because he doesn't care. <laughs> oh, poor Arthur. Uh, so, we grab these things, put them there, and then rapidly decide that that's a terrible idea, an absolutely gaudy idea. Gaudy. Mm -hmm. Gaudy. Gaudy is a weird word. You guys think gaudy is a weird word? I think it's a funky word. I wouldn't necessarily call it weird, but I wouldn't necessarily call it amazing either. This is currently just a slap together of blocks, I'm aware of that, but just, you know, bear with me. I don't know how long you'll have to bear with me, but it might be a while. Okay, so, we have some vague degree of hull structure. Um, the 3600108, um, 2025135, okay, so, this is just better, right? 108, 3600, I need to check this again. Uh, 135, yeah, it's just straight up better. It's just better hull. This is poor bees. Poor bees. Bees should have better hull. Why is bee hull terrible? In fact, is it... Uh, I need to check Terran hull. Uh, I can't remember who's got the... Nah, it's Sentinel. Sentinels have the best. Sentinels have the strongest hull in the entire game. And that is just as it is. By the way, triangularized internal set station, which is what this is, is interesting. Um, because uh, it kind of lets you have a more, I'm not going to bother to describe it, it doesn't matter, who cares, no one cares, I want to build a ship, I want to build a big ship, My, maybe I'm, maybe we'll go temp, ah, I'm fighting with myself on whether or not I go Tinkerel Mega Gun or some other weird stuff, we'll go like Pseudo Super Nuke Launcher, Pseudo Super Nuke Launcher, oh uh, yeah, because I'm cool, Pseudo Super Nuke Launcher. Fancy way of saying I'm a pretentious... Anyway. So, the point is... Um, ba 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 This is not linking in the way I wanted it to. That's fine. I was going to have, like, a segment that, like... If that makes sense. I always do this weird thing. By the way, these are extremely laggy, because I'm going to have so many blocks. You want bigger blocks, that lags the system out less, because there's less blocks to render. <clears throat> Fundamentally. Uh, you know what, making my own game, it's very nice to be able to play a game like Reassembly and be like, wow, this is very, this is running very well. This is horrifyingly well optimized <laughs> for the amount of stuff it ends up, like, Reassembly's looking at this, it doesn't care, I'm running it like, if my, if I wasn't V-Sync locked, I would be running higher than 60 FPS, and you're just like, wow, Reassembly's a good game. <laughs> Not just from a, a game standpoint, from, but from a technical side as well. It's actually very, very well put together. Um, and I've seen its code. Anyway, so the point is, 
gonna put gorse. Gorse is vague and terrible and not great, but it kind of is nice. Maybe question mark. Uh, how am I gonna structure this? Something bulky and hopefully not too laggy, but that's not really the sort of thing you ask for. There's no other faction with a red hull, and I don't want to have to do some sort of recoloring madness. Uh, that doesn't look satisfying. But fundamentally, it doesn't matter. We'll we'll figure out something. Hey, look, plasma condenser. I <laughs> uh, wish I was a better engineer. Okay. Bonk. All right. So now that we have that, we can take it over some blue. And because uh, you know, always gotta have some blue, guys. Always gotta have some blue. Always gotta have some blue. Always uh, gotta have some blue. Blue for who? Blue for who? Blue for you? Oh, do do do. Um. Okay, so. Uh, it's becoming something. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's becoming something. I don't know yet. Hey, look, we have cubes. It's <laughs> uh, not really that funny. Okay, this is abysmal. I hate this. I hate, I just, it's so ugly. But anyway, I wish I had a slightly more inspired design, but I really don't. I can see something that I'd like, but whether or not I can shape it with these blocks is completely different. I think I'm just going to give up and go Terran. And that's that's the abysmal world of reassembly that I live in, is um, eventually giving up, realizing that what you did was terrible, and going with Terran. Or in this case, going with Sentinel, because they've got the better hull segments. Okay, just bear with me. I'm going to think of something coherent. Uh, this is all going to be like an hour long. Or maybe a th maybe I'll just make this 30 minutes. You know what? I'll be, I'll be like my old self. I'll make it 30 minutes. At some point, my 30-minute content turned into like hour-long content, primarily because it was easier to record, because I was literally just starting over. I was just like, I end the video, then I started immediately over, and it's like, what's the point of that? So I just stopped doing that. I can literally just grab this whole thing and rotate it. What am I... Could my coherent... Could my mind please be slightly more, more coherent? And less like an... I don't know... Like an infuriated fish... If I had a mind like an angry fish, it's not exactly practical, but I, I you know, I will attest. It can taste very nice with vinegar. Is, is fish nice with vinegar? I can't remember. Or lemon juice, I suppose. Is. Oh, I think vinegar and lemon juice will also work nice with fish, I'm pretty sure. I haven't had fish for so, while, for so long, I can't even remember what's nice to go with it. No! <laughs> Why do I have the mental abilities of a, like, something dumb? Okay, uh, we want a B command. Or I could just go to Sentinel command. I never use Sentinel stuff. What's the generator capacity? It's 4,000. I'm pretty sure the B command is better in... Oh, no. Hmm, okay, well, Sentinel command it is. Bonk. Okay, this is not where the Sentinel command is going to live. It's going to live over there, but we're going to leave it there for the time being. Or will we? Hmm, interesting question. Listen, I don't know how this is going to look just yet, so you have to just trust me. And I know it's a hard thing to do, I'm just a random dude on the internet, but trust me with my strange build. Okay, maybe don't. <laughs> Rap rapidly regretting my decisions. This is actually this, this is pretty much the same way that I sculpt uh, spaceships when I build spaceships, um, or when I model spaceships for uh, Annihilate the Spawns, the game we've been, not a game I've been working on, with my two colleagues. Uh, basically the same way I model ships for my faction in the game is just like this. I uh, I have a square thing, a square basing canvas, and from there I shape the resultant vessel uh, from the pieces. Uh, much harder than this. Well, I say harder. It's a modeling. You know, we do it, we do it in Blender, um, which is very nice. Blender's open source. A lot of people use it. It's very good for what it's worth. Uh, I mean, it's 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 incredibly good. Okay, so now I've got like a ye olde uh, um, crescent thing, but 
I want to do something interesting with it, and I need to figure out how. So, there are B lasers, okay, and they look kind of neat, right? They look like they could be, oh, I don't know, used to focus some kind of coherent beam of power and energy into some form of destructive thing. So, I'm going to make something that looks like it has like a laser conjoiner, a Lazoric unifier. And uh, probably just end up using a Tinkerel gun, but with very big bullets. And probably a very slow Tinkerel gun. It's going to be a weird Tinkerel gun, because it's not going to be... A f Where's that gone? What? Excuse me. Tinkerel gun. Behave yourself. I actually need to get its friends as well. It's just you lot. Cool. Let's go, let's go Tinkerel gun. You lame, tiny piece of whatever you are. Okay, we don't care about velocity amplifiers, but I'll put one on anyway. Then... Lots and lots of damage. And I'm probably going to have more than one of these guns. And power it with something strange. Okay. So. This thing will look good in the end, I, I hope. I'll, I'll try. I'll try deeply to make it look vaguely okay. And then we will determine if it was ever okay to begin with. Rate amplifier. We don't care. Okay. Gun is going to go very back. Probably a lot more back than this. Probably going to extend the whole vessel out about this much backwards. Yeah, and have some form of... Um, I like to have loop around kind of structure. So, you know, we have this internal loop and then we're going to have like a secondary loop. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'll do some kind of switch back. Like, a, like an Enterprise. <laughs> no, I could do... Um, out T. I like out T actually as a design look. I like out T, which is a weird way of putting it because it doesn't. It's not a statement that makes any sense out of context, you know. But I like out T, whatever the hell that means. Okay, we've got our conjoiner lasers, and I'm going to work more on this internal hull. Probably give it some other colors as well. But the point is, the point is the basis. The basics are here, right? The basics, the very basics for something that would be vaguely acceptable. Okay, which is how we start. You know, you never start expecting the thing to look good. You gotta ex start expecting the thing to be utterly terrible, and from there you do whatever you can. By the way, we're gonna do some block stacking because I'm lame. You ask, what is block stacking? This is block stacking. Ha! It's stacked. Oh wait. <laughs> wait, hold on a second. Uh, I might be stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, cool. That's helpful. Don't worry. Don't don't worry. There we go. Sorry, I wasn't exactly thinking coherently. There you go. So now we've got a stacked internal structure. We can repeat this process over here to give it more uh, internal strength. So it's block stacking, by the way. I hate it. Never do it. But in this case, I'm doing it because it looks better than having some massive chunk of empty space. In fact, I would put them more, but there's a... Actually, this is a really bad spot because there's an exact overlap with that block, which could have caused redraw issue so I'm gonna have to probably put it here you want to make sure that when you're doing this kind of stuff that the blocks the port blocks don't overlap other port blocks even if the ports are being used make sure they do not overlap because it will cause you see here it's fine they don't overlap but if they're in the same area they will cause some interesting issues because the game has to whenever you save and load something the game has to restitch together the, the block based on its saved information of what blocks were where um, so it literally puts the thing exactly where it is and then puts all the things and then, get, you know, checks for overlapping ports, I think. Pretty sure that's how it does it, is that it puts all the blocks down first and then it checks for overlapping ports and it links stuff together that way. So if you have a situation where you have stuff in the same area, it will link the wrong things. I think. I can't remember. I think. I could. I'm, listen, I'm happy to be wrong, but um, if Arthur ever watches my videos, he can t shout at me, say, No, Laps, you're an idiot! You don't know what you're talking about. And you're right, Arthur, I, I don't, because I didn't make the game. But I think I remember that's how it works. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for saint Sentinel. Why am I struggling to say the word Sentinel? That's not a, that's not a healthy s strata. I'm going to use some dark pieces, some light pieces. I want some corners. I definitely want some corners. And some long tries, so that's all we really need. Okay, cool. So, 
now comes the point where I attempt to vaguely shape this thing into something interesting. So I'm going to just make a few little preset pieces here just to speed up the situation because I'm going to do a lot of stuff very quickly. Well, I say very quickly with a relatively s s set idea of how I want it to look in the end. So uh, I'm going to prepare some pieces that are otherwise annoying to prepare. Can this go any bigger? No, but it can go smaller. I remember the first time I played Sentinel and it was like, ooh, these are kind of cool. Maybe you can have some weird tech. And then they didn't have weird tech. It was very sad. Oh, I didn't fully prepare my uh, pre-built. I am a numbskull. Because you know what I should have done? I should have done that, this, and then just copied this. But I didn't. So now I have to build it again. Because I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy talking. And that's okay. But it's quite thin. Okay, let's prep some other pieces. So, uh, pieces, pieces. Where are my pieces? I'm gonna want pieces today. Pieces, pieces, where are my pieces? Where are my pieces, I pray? That served no purpose, by the way. I was just like trying to see what I could do with that. The annoying factor here is that this, this thickness is greater than this eventual fit thickness, so I have to add on one extra block depth just to make the thickness relatively equivalent. Uh, or at least vaguely equivalent, right? Even just vaguely. So you get, uh, it's like slightly more equivalent. In fact, it might actually be identical, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a, I'm not willing, I don't care enough to math that kind of stuff out. So, <laughs> I don't care enough to math it out. So, it, we won't know ever. We won't ever know. This is going to have to be that, and this is going to have to be, no, 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 no. Wow, I'm like, I'm getting like my grandfather now. No, 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 no. I mean, he's right. Whatever he does it, he's completely correct. But <laughs> I'm now doing it um, in a reactionary manner, and is uh, not not as not as pertinent. Can't abuse stuff like that, otherwise it loses its meaning. Come on. Can't uh, like uh, you know, don't swear until it's actually entirely necessary. Otherwise, you just make it like any other word. As well as just being a waste of your time. Just like think of some proper. Words. You damn lazy little. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's very hypocritical. Die mosquito. Ah, mosquitoes. I'm worryingly hypocritical sometimes. Very bad. Very bad. Okay. Hmm. That's not bad. That's actually looking vaguely presentable. Vaguely. We'll get there. Um, blah, 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 blah. So, this is going to be flip, invert, duke, 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 chick, quonk, 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 uh, jump, jump, zip, 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 flop, flop, flip. I don't think I did this right at all, but oh well. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did that right at all. It feels very scuffed. I think I gave this one too many. Mm, not to see about that. I did. Okay, cool. This is what I get when I try to be, you know, clever. I just end up doing something stupid. Stupid. Like a stupid man. Ah. <laughs> you did it like a stupid man. You are a fool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm highly engrossed in my own references. You did it like a stupid man. <laughs> if you know where that's from, good job, because it's literally not from anywhere, so you're lying. It's not a reference from anywhere, because it is not a reference. It is not a real reference. I'm sorry to break it to you. Hey, I could... Um, hmm. I could use like some B hull and get, make give this some interesting lining. You see, just like that, a little bit of teeny bit of difference, and immediately you get just a nice little taste of something something different. And it's kind of there. You see, like a little bit of. It's a bit upsetting that it's not the same color, but but the point is, uh, it gives the option of doing something slightly different. I could probably use. 
uh, the colored pieces from these guys as accent colors. So the teal, the this, the this, and the this uh, give a, in theory, a very nice chroma. So I have a slightly less dark piece. Doesn't have the green outline, which is what we lose if we use this kind of approach. I say we as if you have any say on this. You don't, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm also not sorry because it's you know otherwise I'd have to do a live stream and that would be time consuming. Um, okay, we're not going to do that because we lose out on the uh, exterior green lining. The the lines that the game draws around the blocks, you know, we lose out on that lovely green lining around the edges. And the green lining really, really, really complete stuff. Really makes it look good. So we're not sacrificing that. Um, by the way, yeah, I know I jump between tasks, so it's just as I notice them and as they, as they finally make me want to deal with them, I go and deal with them. And maybe that's a strange methodology, but it's all I can offer. Okay. This firing zone has got this firing hole has gone much smaller than it was initially, but probably for the best. Okay, let's destroy all of that and not copy the not copy this. Just shift click. Alt space uh oh not space, alt M. Very nice, that's not looking too shabby, I gotta admit, you know. In terms of actually building decent looking ships, first time I've done this in a while. Okay, I still have no music and that's making me sad, but I could, I could, um, hold on. Okay, I've got the um, reassembly field soundtrack going in the background. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. I don't know if it's going to be too quiet or something. It might be, I really don't know. Because uh, I did not calibrate my audio setup for this because I didn't think about it. And I'm now too overinvested. <laughs> this is going to be a pitiful bullet, by the way. It's going to be a pitiful, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can do some orange. Orange accentuation for the command center. And we'll have like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a vision. I got a vision. It's is it a great vision? I don't know, but it is a vision. It is a vision. Okay, so I'm going to get... You should start to recognize what I'm going to do pretty quickly. <laughs> you know pretty much exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to take my little pieces. And we're going to make some some pre-hulled stratas. Uh, so we're going to do this. And that's basically because there aren't any... There aren't any long triangles for these guys, so we're going to have to make this rather contained. So... It's going to look so tacky, but let's give it a go, shall we? I'm just going to plan it out with big blocks first and see what I want to... What I want to cut down, what I want to maybe change, slim, improve, etc, etc. Just do some planning. Prototyping is important. Ne never... Don't go straight into something. Think it out first. Plan it out. Prototype it. It's important. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna export this. Just so we have it saved. Uh, two minutes left. I'm just gonna keep building. Who cares? I mean, you know what? Here, yeah, people have been asking me for like 30 minute segments, but the problem is this is an arbitrary cutoff time and it effectively has the same meaning as you just stopping halfway through a 60 minute video. Now, of course, some people have completions. Um, compl uh, what, what's the word? Some people are a bit obsessed with completion or hold some arbitrary value to it like that. But you can just stop a video and come back to it later. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't have to make it, you know, making it artificially 30 minutes would be digestible, but there's nothing to. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand! <laughs> when you're tired, stop watching. Go watch something else. If you're tired, if you need to digest. S listen, I'm cheeky. I'm very... I'm grumpy. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just... Listen. <laughs> I'm upset. People always ask me to make shorter content, and my simple answer is, I don't want to. <sighs> it's not a good excuse. It's not an excuse at all, really. It's just kind of a statement. But, um... 
you know, why not? You know, I mean, some of my earliest content was quite short. People really like that. Uh, why don't I do it more? Because I don't like it. That's the problem. I don't enjoy it. Why am I bothering to mirror this? Because I'm talking and not thinking. That's the primary rationale. The primary rationale. Primary reason. Use correct English, Luke. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. I'll smooth it out in a moment, but I want to plan out some uh, rear-mounted segments for this ship. So. Ba! Ba! Sorry, I'm going to rock out occasionally to um, the oldie field expansion because the music is great, absolutely fantastic. I have um, Peaks making music for our, our game as well, just so you know. BTW, LOL, uh, as the kids say. So I'm paying him to make us some music for our game. So you're going to get something that's quite not, 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 not like the uh, reassembly uh, music, but quite similar, quite similar. I genuinely do not know if you can hear me over that, so I have to make it quieter, and I'm not going to stop the recording to test it, because I don't want to have to edit this. So, because I'm inordinately lazy, uh, we're just going to do this the old the fashioned way. Just to say, Laps isn't going to care, and it's just going to keep building and make his music softer. <laughs> don't learn from my methodologies, so I am not exactly the most uh, efficient person in the world. Or really the most caring, unfortunately. I, yes, I have problems. Okay. <laughs> it's such a weird thing to say. It's like, I have problems. It's like, okay, buddy, sure. All right, okay. Everybody evac. The weird guy's here. <laughs> I'm amused. Okay. This is good. This is good. I like this um, external coloring structure. Basically like the Sentinel want to be played, but actually played. Um, hmm. Is this going to work? Vaguely. Ah, uh, no, it'll work. It's like a little, <laughs> little plip in there. <laughs> oh, this, sorry, this should have been um, thingy, and so, so should this, actually come to think of it. I'm not really thinking very coherently. And this is the kind of situation where you could just have one big one. Block optimization, ladies and gentlemen. Blocked optimization. Any of any effort to stop this nonsense. You know what? I can stop it now. It's like 32 and just send this off and check my audio and sound and things and actually make everything proper. I could. Also, do you notice how I've now swapped to working on the top? <laughs> I was working at the bottom, now we're working at the top. Ah, laps, why? <laughs> why do you have an inefficient work methodology? Ah, laps, why? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, inconsistent work methodology is actually technically the word uh, you want to use, but the simple reason is I don't care. I go with my, um, I go according to how I feel. Not how I feel, it's not necessarily. Listen, don't base things off how you feel. It's not a great way of doing things. It can be quite catastrophic. Be calm, be rational, don't do things in haste. Uh, think through things carefully, especially if it's something that's emotionally made you charred or charred, scarred or whatever. You know, if you're emotionally upset, don't do anything quickly. Take it slow. You know, God didn't give you a brain for you to be stupid, so take your time, breathe. Uh, think rationally about things and then do stuff. And yes, I am talking from personal experience. <laughs> I've, uh, yes, I've had a few of those situations recently which were not great. Um, anyway. Listen, I did intend for this to become life lessons with laps, but it always becomes that because I'm talking to myself. And normally when I talk to myself, I talk about my own failings, which is very entertaining, I have to say, at least for me. <laughs> They're not guaranteed to be interesting for anyone else. Okay, so... This is looking really good, actually. I have to admit, this is looking good. Uh, I don't know how to rectify these meeting points. 
That's going to be funky. Uh, I'm not happy with that situation, but we'll see what I can manage. Uh, unfortunately, there are no... Well... Uh, I mean, that's good enough. It's not amazing, but it is good enough. No, don't be damaged. Don't be damaged. I could actually just have it end into the uh, primary containment complex. Yes, yes, very good. Very good. Hmm. Fields OST. That's good. Probably still very quiet for you all. If you can't hear me over this, I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry if you cannot hear me over this. Okay, we're going to use the light blue as, like, electricity power stuff. This is like weapon power. The light blue is going to be, like, for the the power core. The power core. Why is it always called a power core? Or a reactor? Or a something like that? Like, it's... I mean, I... It sufficiently works, but we haven't made up, like, a nice sci-fi one-word name for it yet. I mean, you could say reactor. You could say a core, you can say all those things, they also work, but like a nice, unique one word word for just a power generator. And I guess the Forever Cold War has it, you, you know, it's called the Quipom. The Central Quipom, yes. But that's more in reference to the technology that it uses more so than anything else, which is a problem. Okay. Uh, oh, weird, Forever Cold War, take talk. Uh, well, no, unless... Well, no. That's not bad. That's not half bad. I need to make it not square, but it's not a bad start, you know? Fundamentally, it's not exactly a bad idea. It just isn't amazing. Hmm. It just isn't amazing. I don't know why I'm saying that in a strange way, but it gives me some vague entertainment, so I shall do it. Probably not again, but at least that once. <laughs> uh, I'm a nutcase. Okay, delete, 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 delete. Well, take I'm hitting X, which copies it to the clipboard and isn't exactly a useful spending of everyone's time, but it works. Hey, it's like a little bit of a uh, cyan. It's nice. Ooh, that looks good. Right? Come on, that looks good. I like that. It looks good. That looks good. That looks good. What I can do is have a teeny little thing that just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Sadness. Okay. That's fine. That's how it's going to look. That's not a problem. I'm actually happy with that. We're going to have it go out, up, and then uh, have it loop into these areas over here. And I'll probably refine it as time goes on. That's okay. This is the this is the vague outline of the look of the structure. Good. I'm happy with that. That's nice. Okay, now we're getting to the nice part of the Well, it's all nice. The whole the entire soundtrack is nice, so this part I really like. Okay, that's not bad. 
that is not bad. I have vision. I have ideas. Oh, my game has crashed. What's happening? Reassembly? Hello? Oh, reassembly, no. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Well. That's how that ends. Um. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Um, yeah.